Hi guys, Oshale here and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday the 13th and happy Camp NaNoWriMo Day 13 as well. This was, sorry, Teddy's walking around so if you see me looking off that's who I'm looking at. But this is been this has been my first full week of Camp NaNoWriMo. I decided to do Camp NaNoWriMo kind of late. I decided on the 2nd. I'm going to pull up my calendar here because I want to be as accurate as possible with my dates. So yeah, I decided to do Camp NaNoWriMo on Monday, April 2nd. And it was kind of like spur of the, mo uh, spur of the moment type of decision. It was something I had been kind of contemplating, but then I finally just decided to take the plunge and do it on that day. But I knew I wasn't gonna have time to write, so I planned to start writing on that Friday, which was Friday the 6th. And the problem is that I had a story idea, but um, as I've discussed in my Camp NaNoWriMo announcement video, I am a reformed pantser and I am now a planner and a plotter. And you know, I didn't really have time to plot out the story appropriately. So I decided I was gonna start writing on Friday the 6th, but unfortunately I didn't even really start really writing until this past Monday. Um, it took me a while to kind of break through my writer's block. I don't believe in writer's block. So I just feel like, you know, you just need to start writing something. Like just start journaling, start stream of consciousnessing, and you know, eventually something will come out and you will produce something worth it and worthwhile. But I don't believe in just being like, I have writer's block, I'm not gonna write at all. I think that writing is a talent and a gift, but it's also a skill and it's something that you can hone over time. And I think the more you write, the better you get at it, whether it's fiction or nonfiction writing. So that's why I just don't believe in writer's block. I think it's a way that where you can sulk yourself, sulk? <laughs> what? You can psych yourself out and then, you know, you just kind of don't write and then that just turns into maybe days or weeks or maybe even years of not writing because you've built up this block in your mind and you know the mind is very powerful and all of a sudden you cannot mentally surmount you know or overcome whatever it is that you have built up that is blocking you and holding you back so just my two cents but any who's so I you know really started writing and getting some pages in on Monday Monday Tuesday and I'm currently on page 23 of my current story now I will say that for this Camp NaNoWriMo, I believe my goal was to write, I think 25,000 or 30,000 words or something like that. And you know, the working title of my novel is Crush. So just to give you guys some background information on my novel, I am writing a new adult novel and it takes place on a college campus. And my main character is um, a young woman of African descent. She's African on her mom's side and then her dad is African-American and I did a lot of work on her background so basically long story short my story takes place in a present date and time and it is a contemporary obviously and it is a romance which is you know pretty much what I write. I, I write a lot of coming in can't talk. I write a lot of coming in <laughs> I write a lot of coming in of age romantic stories. Um, love stories are my favorite. I just, you know, when I was little I wanted to be a romance novelist. So this is kind of like my way of doing that without all of the cheesy covers and overly explicit sex scenes. So hey, this this is my ode to my childhood dream. But yes, so, oh, Teddy wants to, is, is like clamoring for me here. <laughs> He's really dirty right now, so excuse him. I'm gonna be giving him a bath a little bit later today. But yeah, so um, my main character is Leia, and she's named after Princess Leia, and her name is Leia Erickson. Her mother died in a carjacking when she was young, and her father is a career military man. He is a Marine, and he's deployed a lot. He travels a lot. He's pretty high up in the ranks, and so she's raised by her Aunt Comfort and her aunt is a first generation immigrant. Um, she's from Nigeria and she studied abroad in England and she became a travel blogger and travel writer and she travels a lot for work, but she decided, sorry my neighbors, she decided to stop everything, not give up her career, but kind of settle down and become more sol um, sedentary. 
<laughs> and travel a little bit less to raise her niece because she feels like that's what her sister would have wanted and she and her sister were 10 years apart and she's the oldest she's the older sister there's just two of them and their parents are gone and so she just felt a responsibility to raise her niece and to honor her younger sister and so Leia is raised by her aunt, her aunt Comfort, after her mother passes. She sees her father sporadically, but she and her father are not close, so she kind of has father issues or daddy issues, if you will. And so the story takes place, like I said, on a college campus, and Leia goes off to college, and it's kind of all of her misadventures. The story takes place in her sophomore year of college, and she's a year behind everyone because she's she, she skipped a grade when she was in third grade. She's very smart, but I mean a lot of kids skip a grade So she is a little younger than the other girls and boys in their sophomore year and you know just the misadventures and I don't want to you know go into too too much detail But in a nutshell that is kind of my main female protagonist my male my main male protagonist um, I will talk about him in my next video. I just want to piece out the story a little bit vlog by vlog so in my next vlog Camp NaNoWriMo vlog which will go up next Saturday I will tell you more about my male protagonist and you know his side of the story and his background and things like that I do not want to give away too too much detail about my story um, you know how it goes but I will tell you that some of the overarching themes are love of self learning who you are discovering yourself um, Leia is a young woman who grew up kind of in a conservative setting with her parents but then her aunt is actually very liberated and she's a strong feminist so she's kind of instilled those values in Leia so you see her exploring her femininity and her sexuality in the story as well so doing that without you know this taboo of you know women being slut shamed and women being considered as you know the virgin the madonna whore complex you know either you're a virgin or a whore and that kind of dichotomy dichotomy that women have to face and put up with in this society so the story kind of explores that a little bit as well so yeah that is what i'm working on but even though i do have a camp nano rimo story and a plan to get at least thirty-five thousand words i can't remember if it was twenty-five thousand or thirty-five thousand. i'll have to look on the side again um, on this particular draft. I also have been working on my short story blog So definitely go check that out if you haven't already I will link that in the information box I have a new story up on my short story blog and I did write that during Camp NaNoWriMo um, In the sense that I finished it up. I started it back in I think end of January beginning of February and um, I would like for you guys to go ahead and go check it out now if you're interested and then come back because I'm gonna talk about that story a little bit as well since I did finish it up during Camp NaNoWriMo and I posted it uh, a few days ago but basically that story was really personal to me on my short story blog I write a mixture of autobiographical fiction which means those are stories based on my personal life it's autobiographical and also just straight fiction um, short stories inspired either by other people or just my imagination so it's a mixture it's a mixture of both types of writing and this particular blog piece it was definitely 100% autobiographical I wrote it from my own life experience my own personal thoughts and feelings and it's probably one of the most personal pieces I've ever written and I got the idea because you know we were coming up on Valentine's Day and I have a lot of feelings and emotions behind that holiday so I wanted to share that just based on where I am in my life currently the things that I have gone through and what I am currently going through when it comes to love and relationships when it comes to finding out your purpose when it comes to this idea of success and what our westernized society considers to be success and what we consider not to be success and also how we treat women in the society and how we view women especially women of color and especially black women in America especially so I just wanted to oh, the Sun keeps getting in my face and I keep adjusting the camera the camera ang angle keeps moving it's because I'm trying to avoid the Sun it's setting right now but um yeah I just wanted to explore all of those themes in a short story and my thoughts and emotions coming up on Valentine's Day, having been single for so long. So if you're single like me or just interested in my writing and you know my voice and how I write, especially my autobiographical fiction pieces, then definitely go check out that short story. Once again, my short story blog will be linked down below and definitely drop me a comment and let me know how you think and how you felt about the story. I'm in my backyard, you guys, or at least my parents' backyard. Can you see Teddy? 
back there being a little ragamuffin. But yeah, so um, some things I wanted to talk about with my Camp NaNoWriMo process, writing process, is how hard it is for me to write contemporary stories and how hard for me it is and how for, hard for me it, <laughs> what, I can't talk, and how hard it is for me to write, um, I don't know what the right word is, but you know, it's really hard for me not to throw in something fantastical into my plots. I thrive in fantasy. I thrive in even science fiction. You know, if there's any type of element of fantasy, of, of the otherworldly type element or elements to any one of my stories, oh, I come alive. That is my niche. That is where I thrive. That is just what comes naturally to me is writing fantasy. And so when it comes to writing straight up contemporary in our you know, modern day and time, no fantastical elements, it's so hard. It was so hard for me not to be like wanting to make her into some type of alien creature or something or like a super or a superhero or you know I, it was so hard for me to write just a straight contemporary story it's something that i have been working on for the past few years um in the last couple of nanorimos well not in november so in november's i did write a fantasy novel but um in the in last Camp NaNoWriMo, I did the July session, I tried really hard to write a contemporary story. And in the last April session I did, which was Camp NaNoWriMo April session of 2015, I wrote a romantic comedy. So I'm definitely trying to threat threaten, <laughs> I'm definitely trying to strengthen my skill of writing contemporary, of writing contemporary romance. You know, I, I probably will never write like a mystery or a thriller, but I would love to write like a true contemporary coming of age Americana type story, more towards literary fiction. I think that's what my stories kind of read like. They read, my voice sounds very literary, even though, you know, I'm choosing to be in the new adult genre or the young adult genre. It's, you know, not as light and fluffy as, you know, some young adult or new adult stories come off because there's always going to be a deeper subject matter deeper themes and you know broader things going on i like to explore themes like race gender class um i like to dabble with you know feminist topics a lot and um i like to talk a lot about socioeconomic issues and how they relate to race and class so yeah, that's it um, for this first vlog. I'm sorry I don't have any writing clips in this vlog. I've been super busy and it's been hard for me to kind of take up my camera while I'm writing. It's not something that I think of to do in that moment, but I will try to include some writing clips in my next NaNoWriMo, Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. I will make that vlog a little bit more in real time and I also want to talk to you guys about the software that I've been using. So I will actually insert a clip right here of the software that I have been using to write my story this time around. Um, it's something that I discovered off of Instagram actually and I kind of took a chance on it and now I am obsessed with it and I love it. And so I will talk to you guys about that in the next clip. All right guys, so the website that I am using is called www.dabblewriter.com and this is on my Google Chromebook, so it's perfect because Chromebooks don't have any hard drives, so everything is stored on the Google Cloud and Dabble works really well with clouds. So it's something that you can download and have on your hard drive, but it also has a cloud so you can always access whatever current projects you're working on as long as you have internet access. So right now this is what the homepage looks like and as you can see there is my NaNoWriMo project, but um, you can start a recent project by just coming here and um, clicking the plus sign. You do create an account. Um, as you can see, there is me up there and it just kind of has all of your login information, your account information, your billing information. Um, I guess you can have more than one account. There's a help center as well to answer any possible questions. Um, when you first sign up for Dabble, they do give you a free trial so it looks like my free trial, I think it's come to an end already. Um, I had it for seven days and then I think you pay um, monthly 
so my internet isn't the best right now so I will have to figure out that billing information in a minute but I just wanted to show you guys how the site works when you click there it takes you to this kind of home page and on the side you can kind of set everything up see a manuscript you can title it then there's chapter one you can go ahead and get started you can plot out things a plot grid or a plot line story notes characters world building there's a the trash so forth and so on then it'll show you your goals over here and you can set up goals like how many words you want to write a day or a month or whatever the case may be and this will just kind of show you where you are with your so goals. So you go over here and hit you know goal stats you kind of just click on the settings. Did you guys see that? I clicked on the little settings area over here. It takes you to this screen where you see goals. So here are your goals, and it gives you a calendar. You can set what your word count goal is for this project. You can um, set your specific word count goal. You can also exclude word count. I'm not really sure what that is about, to be honest with you. Oh, the number of previous words already written that you want excluded from your total. Interesting. So maybe words previously written before using the site, perhaps? Um, you can choose a deadline, like I said, and then you can mark what days off, like maybe there are days that you don't plan on writing, like maybe you won't write on Sundays or Wednesdays or whatever. You can mark those off and they won't apply to your goal. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. But yeah, I am loving this so far, and um, the more I use it, the more, you know, the more I'll have to, s to say about it and to say on it, so I will definitely update you guys as I go along with Jabble. All right? Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll have the link to www.dabble focus dabblewriter.com in the information box all right kids okay now that you guys have seen what software i'm using to write the story um definitely go check it out i will leave a link down below to the dabble website so you can go look at it for yourself and read up on it and read up on the guy who founded and started this cute little website in this app slash writing software it's very user friendly and I love how it works I love that there's a cloud for it as well and that you can pretty much access it from anywhere once you log into your account you can access your writing from wherever you are as long as you have internet access I think that is awesome and I love that it is a monthly subscription I know a lot of people don't like that but I like that because sometimes you don't want to pay a huge fee up front and it's easier for you to pay a smaller fee monthly and I love that they have a trial period so that you can try it out and see how you feel about it and if it works for you but those are just my thoughts and if you guys have any questions questions comments about my writing about your writing definitely fill me in on what you're writing this camp NaNoWriMo I would love to hear them in the comment section and I will also leave my camp NaNoWriMo link in the information box if you want to say hi on the site or even join my cabin I would love to see you guys over there as well all right, so that is it for this video. I definitely want to wrap this up while the sun is still on. <laughs> on. And I will see you guys in my next Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. I, I am a reformed pantser. How about that? And for those of you that don't know the terms, a pantser is a writer that just flies by the seat of their pants and they don't make any any plans really, any outlines, any notes or anything of that sort. You just kind of start writing and see where the story takes you. And I used to do that a lot when I was younger and you know, all the way through even college, I used to be a pantser, but I am a reformed pantser and I have become a planner and a plotter and I like to outline heavily and I like to do a lot of character development and character research and really try to delve deep into the story and